Hello, my name is Basil and welcome to the first Small Basic programming tutorial. Small Basic is a programming language developed by Microsoft which is designed for people who have never used a programming language that is text-based before. Now, if you have no experience with programming languages whatsoever, then I have a series on YouTube which might be for you and that might be useful before watching this video, which is using a programming language called Scratch, which is designed for complete beginners who want to learn the fundamentals of programming and have never done it before. I have a series of videos on that, like I said, and they are a good stepping stone onto this video. Now, the first step, obviously, is to download Small Basic, which you can find on the Small Basic website, smallbasic.com. And here it is on my URL bar. Um, now, if you go to this website, there is a download button, and you should just be able to click it. However, if you're a Mac user, unfortunately, Small Basic doesn't run on Macs. But, like me, you could use an emulator, which runs Windows, to then use it or you could find a Windows running computer and just use it off that but unfortunately because it's developed by Microsoft it's not available for Macs so you'll have to find a way around that now once you have it downloaded we go into the actual program itself and you should see something a bit like this now the first thing you'll see is the taskbar and this window here and as we can see this taskbar is quite standard there's the new which creates a new program here a new text line uh, and if we want to we can drag this and we can move it around uh, but we're not going to use two at the moment so if we just click X we have this one that we start with obviously also we have the open feature if you have programs that you want to open uh, so there's the save system and basically it's mostly standard as you can see now let's take a closer look at the programming in small basic so if we start typing we'll see something and that is that there is a wheel that appears once you start typing anything. Now what you can do is you can scroll up and down and read the definitions of what each of these do. These are the different things that you can program in Small Basic. We can see sound, which as we can see is all of the sound based programming and to do with sounds of all kinds. Program, which acts a lot like the control in Scratch, if I remember correctly the mouse which is to do with mouse based commands math which contains a lot of the same things as the operators block in scratch and there are various different operators that we can use such as the dictionary and the controls and as you can see it's arranged in such a way that all of the building blocks of this programming language are on this wheel if we scroll up and down now for this we'll be using the text window which is this operator here and if we click enter we can see it's automatically typed that in so that's a faster way of using it now even if you don't understand what I'm doing bear with me and type in text window dot right line and we can see right line is one of the other commands inside text window so if you we take a quick moment to scroll through these we can see these are all the things to do with the text window but if we choose right line which writes a line of text on the text window and what we need to do next is we need to enter what it needs to write in the text window so what we need to do right now is we need to enter the text that we'll see in the text window itself so if you use an opening bracket and then speech marks we type whatever in here that we want to appear on the text window for the sake of this video it's going to be hello for me and then we have to end the speech marks and we have to end the bracket with a close bracket now, if we click run here, or press F5, it'll take a while. As we can see in the text window, hello has appeared, which is what we've written here. So if we were to change this to, say, goodbye, and then we were to run it, we can see that goodbye has appeared in place of hello. Now there are various things we can do to mess around with the text as well itself and the text window. So if we go to the front of the line and um, that's just before the T and press enter, we'll create a new line above that line. And if we type in here, text window dot background color and we go equals, then we need to just use speech marks and then choose a color so I'm going to choose red 
and then run that, we can see that behind the text is the color red. So there are various things you can do like this. Obviously, text window is the only operation in Small Basic, and we can use another one to show this. So if we choose the clock, and then we use dot again to get all the different ones, we can see that clock contains all of the different times you might want. So if we choose year, then whatever clock.year is will be the current year. So if we were to put this into program, it will be 2013. We can use this in the program by typing in the text editor text window dot right line clock dot year and then if we run this program it will show 2013 because it will take the information from the computer and it will write that in the text window because we've got this program that says put the background color to red and then write in the text line the year so I hope you understand the basics of what I'm doing here. I'm trying to show you the different functions that Small Basic has and the interface that you'll be using. This is a very brief look at the base of Small Basic, and obviously there'll be a lot more in-depth stuff to come. But the aim of this was to get you comfortable with the background of Small Basic and how you enter commands and use the interface of Small Basic. There'll be more to come, so I hope you've enjoyed this one and stay tuned for more Small Basic content.